today we're going to be looking at a problem that involves proportional reasoning. We're going to solve this problem using percents, fractions, and decimals in their equivalent forms. So let's look at today's question. There are 270 grade 9 students at a high school, and 80% of these students attend the spring dance. Half of the grade 9 students who attend the dance buy their tickets at the door. How many grade 9 students who attend the dance buy their tickets at the door? So what do we need to figure out in this question? Well, there's actually more than one thing we need to find. What's the first thing we need to figure out? Let's start by underlining what we know. We know that there's 270 grade 9s at the school, and we know that 80% of them attend the spring dance. But do we know how many students that actually is? No. So that's the first thing we need to find. How many students actually attend the dance? Well, we know that 80% of the total number of students attend the dance. So 80% of 270 students attend the dance. But what does that mean? What is 80% of 270? I'm going to show you one method of solving this. We're going to do this by using fractions. So let's represent 80% as a fraction. Well, how would you write the number 80% as a fraction? Think about what percent is out of. Percent is always out of 100. So if you have 80%, that means you have 80 out of 100. Now, how would you represent 270 as a fraction? Well, 270 is a whole number. And any number divided by 1 still equals the number itself. 270 divided by 1 is still equal to 270. So 80 out of 100 multiplied by 270 over 1 will tell us how many students attend the dance. Before we solve this, I want you to write the fraction 80 out of 100 into lowest terms. Think about how you can reduce this. What are, what are 80 and 100 both divisible by? Well, to figure that out, we can start by listing the factors of 80 and the factors of 100 and then find the greatest common factor. That will tell us what number they're divisible by. So let's write the factors of 80. The number 80 has 10 factors. What are the factors of 100? 100 has 9 factors. Can you find which factors they have in common? 1, 2, 4, 5, and 20. Which one of these is the greatest common factor? 20 would be the greatest common factor. That means that 80 and 100 are both divisible by 20. So what happens when I take 80 and I divide it by 20? 80 divided by 20 equals 4. And 100 divided by 20 is equal to 5. So 80 out of 100 is equivalent to 4 over 5. Because I divided the numerator and the denominator by the same number, I've just come up with an equivalent fraction. So let's rewrite our multiplication sentence using our fraction in lowest terms. 4 over 5 times 270 over 1 is equal to something. Do you remember how to multiply fractions? When multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerator by the numerator, and then the denominator by the denominator. So let's start. 4 times 270. 4 times 270 gives us 1,080. Next, we multiply 5 times 1. That's easy. 5 times 1 is 5. But now what? We have an answer that is an improper fraction. That means that the numerator is greater than the denominator. So how do we reduce this? Well, 1,080 over 5 also means 1,080 divided by 5. How many times does 5 go into 1,080? Let's try that. 1,080 divided by 5 gives us 216. We've got a whole number now. That means that 216 students attend the spring dance. 
of 270 is equal to 216. But now what? What do we need to do next? What else does the question tell us? This question also tells us that half of the students who attend the dance buy their tickets at the door. And we need to figure out how many students who attend the dance buy their tickets at the door. So how can we represent half as a percentage and a fraction? Well, think about it. Remember, percent is always out of 100. What's half of 100? 50. 50% 50 represents half. 50 out of 100. Can you put this fraction into lowest terms? What are 50 and 100 both divisible by? Let's write the factors of 50 and 100. Well, we already know the factors of 100, so let's rewrite those. And now let's figure out the factors of 50. Let's circle all the common factors. 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, and 50. Which is the greatest common factor? That's right, 50. That means that 50 is divisible by 50, and 100 is also divisible by 50. 50 divided by 50 is 1, and 100 divided by 50 is 2. So that means that 50 over 100 is equal to 1 over 2. 1 over 2 is a half. You probably already knew that. So now let's figure out our equation. Half of the students who attend the dance buy their ticket at the door. So half of how many students attend the dance? 216 buy their tickets at the door. We're going to solve this using fractions. 1 over 2 times 216 over 1 will give us the answer to how many students buy their tickets at the door. So let's calculate this. Remember, when multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerator by the numerator. 1 times 216 is 216. And then the denominator by the other denominator. 2 times 1 gives us 2. How do I put this in lowest terms? 216 divided by 2. What's half of 216? The answer, when you divide 216 divided by 2, it's equal to 108. That means that 108 students buy their tickets at the door. And we've answered the question they wanted us to find. How many grade 9 students who attend the dance buy their tickets at the door? Therefore, the answer is 108 grade 9 students. Now remember, this was just one way of solving this using percents, fractions, and decimals. But there are many ways you could have solved this problem. Can you think of another way you could have solved this? Check out the playlist to find different solutions.